I'm sure you've had a lot of opportunities since May. What made this the challenge that you wanted to get stuck into? How could you possibly um, say anything but yes to being chair of the football club which um, you support all your life? And uh, it's a really important, responsible job. It's something which um, you know, I can fit in with the other things I'm doing at the moment. It's not a paid job, but it's, um, it's important to do it properly and to commit the time. Yeah, you're, you're a non-executive chairman. Can you just expand a bit more on how hands-on you expect to be? So I'm not coming in kind of to change things, because I think things are really working well. But I'm coming in to make sure that we do things in the best way we can and that we're always trying to plan for the, the long term. And it doesn't just mean chairing the board and coming to games. It also means taking some time with David and colleagues to stand back and say, you know, uh, is the strategy right? Are there things we can do? Are there things we can learn from other clubs? We're not the only small club succeeding at, in the, the top flight of British football, but we're also, um, there are other clubs who didn't do it right and thought they were big clubs and ended up going down to Championship Division 1. So we can always learn and the board's job I think is to, um, to support uh, the management but also to challenge and that's what we'll do. How much of a role can we expect you to play in the January transfer window? I know a lot of planning has already gone into it. It's, it's important that those footballing decisions are being made by Alex and his team and that's something which obviously David and colleagues are closely involved in. But um, I'll be in close touch on behalf of the board with what's going on in the transfer window. Um, it's about executing this season's plan but also making sure we're planning for um, the next transfer window as well. So the work starts now. To talk a bit more about the football, Ed, obviously you're a season ticket holder here at Carrow Road. Have yeah. you got to, to many games this season? I've been to, um, to a few. I have a season ticket with my dad and my uncle and my brother, and um, so we share it out. I've been to, I came here to Stoke, uh, where we should have won easily, but their goalkeepers at Jack Butland was amazing that day, and uh, we should have won. I was at West Ham um, when uh, we let that goal in in extra time, and we should have beaten West Ham. I was here for Arsenal, where I thought we were the better team. I thought we should have beaten Arsenal. And now you're more invested in it from a professional point of view as well. How excited are you for the, for the rest of the season? I, don't think, I think it's different, but I think it's more. I think if you're a fan, you're just invested in it. Clearly, um, if you are a fan, as I've been for many years, you can walk out and kick a can as you walk down the road and think, ridiculous. Whereas if you are um, you know, in my position now, you've got to stand back and say, well, so what are we going to do next? And, and, and you know, how can I support off the pitch um, the team on the pitch? And so there's more of a challenge and there's more responsibility, but emotionally, it's the same.